بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد In the 16th uh, juz of the Quran or the 16th para we uh, complete uh, Surah Al-Kahf and as we mentioned uh, in the previous juz when we looked at Surah Al-Kahf Surah Al-Kahf deals with four different kinds of fitna. And the fourth and last one is mentioned here in the beginning of this juz, and that is in the story of uh, Dhul Qarnayn. And, uh, and so we have the fitna of uh, power or might. And so Dhul Qarnayn, he used, uh, he used his power and his might in doing what was good and not in doing what was evil. And then Surah Al-Kahf basically concludes by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioning uh, the, uh, what will happen to the believers uh, in the hereafter and what will happen to the disbelievers. Then we move on to Surah Maryam. And Surah Maryam uh, basically uh, uh, deals with uh, several stories that Allah mentions. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala starts by mentioning the story of Zakaria and how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted, uh, granted him a child even uh, though he was very old in age. Uh, and then Allah mentions the story of Maryam who the surah is named after and what she went through uh, with her people. Uh, when she came with uh, her baby Isa alayhi salam and so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us what happened there and also uh, we have uh, Isa alayhi salam speaking uh, from the cradle when he was still a baby and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions the story of Ibrahim alayhi salam and how uh, he you know uh, called his father to the tawheed of Allah giving him da'wah and notice how Allah uh, notice how Ibrahim alayhi uh, salam referred to his father, even though we're, we're speaking about you know something very grave and uh, huge, and that is uh, tawheed and shirk. Uh, and yet Ibrahim alayhi uh, salam was not harsh, but rather he would refer to his father as ya abati, even though he's giving him da'wah, even though he's a disbeliever, and even though he's destined for the hellfire, but still. Uh, you know, he, he uh, uh, you know, uh, referred to him with, with all respect. Uh, and then we have uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala after that mentions uh, some of the other prophets. And then uh, the surah uh, is concluded uh, by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala once again mentioning uh, Isa alayhi salam and that's at the very end where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions what a great and severe uh, claim the Christians make about Isa alayhi salam that Allah has a son. Uh, and then uh, with that, uh, Surah Maryam is uh, concluded. And then we have for the rest of this juz, Surah Taha. And Surah Taha uh, basically uh, in its entirety, it is uh, pretty much the story of Musa alayhi salam with Fir'aun and Bani Israel. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us the entire story of Musa from the beginning uh, and uh, when he started giving da'wah to Fir'aun and then what happened uh, you know, on that great uh, day when uh, the, the, the magicians faced off against Musa and how Allah made the truth to prevail and these uh, magicians ended up embracing Islam as a result and then how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saved Bani Israel from their enemy Fir'aun and his troops and how they were drowned and then after that how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, you know allowed Bani Israel to flourish in the land and then after that uh, the fitna that uh, Bani Israel faced uh, when some among them, uh, you know, uh, started to deviate, started to deviate, uh, and uh, started to worship or associate partners with Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Then after that, we have 
uh, towards the end of uh, Surah Taha, uh, Allah mentions the story of uh, Adam alayhi salam very briefly and uh, basically uh, how uh, Iblis was commanded to prostrate to him and he refused. Uh, and then at the very end of uh, Surah Taha, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala consoles the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uh, and commands him to remain uh, steadfast and patient. And so with that we come to the end of this session. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Ashhadu wa la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.